Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about summation notation and the expanded form and its rules. The symbol sigma means summation. It is very important in finding the measure of central tendency, especially in finding the mean. To be more specific, let us have this notation and the expanded form. So this is summation of x sub i where i is equal to 1, so that is equal to x sub 1 since we start at i is equal to 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4 plus up to x sub n since we end at n. This is clear that we are adding all the values of x starting at 1 and end at n. So the subscripts are 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. So let us have example number 1 where x sub 1 is equal to 3, x sub 2 is equal to 5, x sub 3 is equal to 7, x sub 4 is equal to 9. So we have 4 values of x. So let us solve A. Summation of x sub i where i is equal to 1 meaning we start at x sub 1 and we end up to x sub 4 since n is equal to 4. B. Summation of x sub i where i is equal to 2 meaning we start at the second value of x and we end up to the third value of x or x sub 3 since n is equal to 3. C. Summation of x sub i where i is equal to 3 so we start at third value of x or x sub 3 and we end to fourth value since n is equal to 4. For letter A, summation of x sub i where i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 4. So we start at x sub 1 since i is equal to 1. So that is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4 since n is equal to 4. So that is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 since x sub 4 is 9. So 7 plus 3, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 9 that is equal to 24. For letter B, summation of x sub i where i is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. So we start at x sub 2 since i is equal to 2. So that is equal to x sub 2 plus x sub 3. So the last number is x sub 3 since n is equal to 3. So that is equal to 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7, that is equal to 12. For letter C, summation of i x sub i where i is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. So we start at x sub 3 and we end at x sub 4 since n is equal to 4. So that is equal to x sub 3 plus x sub 4. So again, i is equal to 3. That's why we start at x sub 3 x plus x sub 4 since n is equal to 4. That is equal to 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9, that is equal to 16. So let us have the rules of summation. The first rule is the sum or difference of two terms, x sub i and y sub i. And that is equal to the sum or difference of two individual summations, summation of x sub i and summation of y sub i. For example, the values of x are x sub 1 is equal to 2, x sub 2 is equal to 3, x sub 3 is equal to 6, x sub 4 is equal to 8. For the values of y, let us have y sub 1 is equal to 1, y sub 2 is equal to 2, y sub 3 is equal to 3, y sub 4 is equal to 5. Let us solve letter A, the summation of the sum and difference of two terms. So again, that is equal to the sum and the sum of two individual summations. So that is equal to summation of x sub i where i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 3 plus the summation of y sub i where i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 
3. So again, we start at i is equal to 1, so x sub 1. So that is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus y sub i that is equal to y sub 1. We start at 1 since i is equal to 1 and end at 3. So since n is equal to 3 plus y sub 2 plus y sub 3. So again, start at 1, end at 3. So x sub 1 is equal to 2 plus x sub 2 is 3 plus x sub 3 is 6 plus y sub 1 is 1 plus y sub 2 is 2 plus y sub 3, 3 is 3. So 2 plus 3 plus 6, that is equal to 11. 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is equal to 6. 6 plus 11, that is equal to 17. For letter B, the summation of the difference of two terms, x sub i and y sub i, where i is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. So that is equal to the difference of two individual summation, where i is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. So again, i is equal to 2. So we start at x sub 2. So that is equal to the quantity of x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. So we end at 4 since n is equal to 4 minus the quantity of y sub i start at i is equal to 2. So that is y sub 2 plus y sub 3 plus y sub 4. So we end at 4 since n is equal to 4. So that is equal to x sub 2 is 3 plus x sub 3 is 6 plus x sub 4 is 8 minus the quantity of y sub 2 is 2 plus y sub 3 is 3 plus y sub 4 is 5. So 6 plus 8 14 plus 3 17 minus so 17 minus 2 plus 3 plus 5, that is 10. 17 minus 10, that is equal to 7. So let us have rule number 2, the summation of the product of the constant and the values of x. So that is equal to the product of the constant and the summation of x. So example, x sub 1 is 1, x sub 2 is 3, x sub 3 is 4, x sub 4 is 7. So, let us solve the summation of 5 times values of x where i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 4. So, that is equal to the product of the constant 5 and the summation of values of x or x sub i where i is equal to 1 and I, uh, n is equal to 4. So, that is 5 times x sub i, we start at 1, so x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. So again, that is equal to 5 times x sub 1 is 1 plus x sub 2 is 3 plus x sub 3 is 4 plus x sub 4 is equal to 7. So 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 7 is 15. So that is 15 times 5, that is equal to 75. So let us have the third rule. The summation of the constant, that is simply n times constant. So example, a, the summation of 9, where i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 7. So that is equal to 9 times 7. So that is equal to 63. For letter B, the summation of 12 where i is equal to 1 and n is equal to 12. So that is equal to 12 times 12. So that is equal to 144. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learned, please subscribe to my channel. Bye. God bless.